Use implicit differentiation to find dy dx if 2x to the fourth plus 6x squared y minus 3y equals 1. So normally if you were going to find dy dx, you would first solve for y, but this problem asks you to use implicit differentiation. So what that means is we're going to just go ahead and take the derivative without solving for y, and we're going to have to remember that y is a function of x, so it has to satisfy the chain rule. So for notation, when, when we're trying to take the derivative, we can either write it as dy dx, or you'll see some people write it as y prime. Since this problem uses the dy dx notation, uh, I'll go ahead and use that too. Okay, so we're going to take the derivative. So first I'll just rewrite the function here. What is it? 2x to the fourth plus 6x squared y minus 3y equals 1. And we'll just go term by term. First we have 2x to the fourth. Well, there's no y in here, so you just take the derivative like you normally would. So in this case, bring down the 4 multiplied by the 2, and I end up getting 8x to the third, subtract one from the exponent. Okay, now we have six x squared y. Y is a function of x, so this is really something that's gonna involve product rule. You can think of it as six x squared as being the first function, and y as being the second function. So product rule says we take the derivative of one, so I'll write it out right here, Take the derivative of one of them, say the first one, for a little prime there, leave the second one alone, plus leave the first one alone and take the derivative of the second one. So let's do that down here. So first we have the derivative of 6x squared, that's going to be 12x. And then I'm gonna leave the y alone, 12x and then a y, plus, now I'm going to leave the 6x squared alone. I'm going to take the derivative of y. Well, that's just y prime. Oops, sorry, I was going to use the dy dx notation. I guess we're using the y prime notation. That's fine. I think it's a little more compact, a little bit easier to write. You could write this as dy dx if you wanted to instead. Uh, okay, and now we have minus 3y. So that's going to be, well... The three is just gonna stay there, and the derivative of y, that's y prime, equals, and what's the derivative of a constant? Zero, so the derivative of one will be zero. All right, sometimes uh, if you're doing a problem like this, you can just stop right here, and that's your answer, but in this case, let's actually solve for y prime. So if you wanted to solve for y prime, or dy dx, what you would do is isolate these terms on one side of the equation and move everything else over to the other side. So let's move these guys over to this side of the equation. So if I add the 3y over there, then I'll get a 3y prime. And if I subtract this 6x squared y prime, I'll have that on the other side. And then this stuff will be by itself where it was. Okay. Now that I have my y primes, my dy dx's on one side of the equation, I can factor that out. So it's going to leave behind a 3 minus 6x squared equals 8x cubed plus 12xy. And now to get y prime by itself, I can just divide this stuff, this 3 minus 6x squared, over to the other side. So I'm going to get 8x cubed plus 12xy all over 3 minus 6x squared. And that's my answer.